no discussion of site security is complete without talking about HTTPS. This is not a Drupal specific thing, as you may know, but it relates to any website, especially those in which users are sending information to the site, particularly in the form of usernames and passwords to log into a website, such as a Drupal site. This is important not just for sites with large numbers of visitors, but even for those in where you may just be logging in as an administrator. HTTPS is a secure form of HTTP. This is the way that browsers send requests to servers in the form of information that's structured in a certain way, and then servers send back information in the form of HTML, etc., and gives them a page to render, such as the page we're looking at here or any given page on the internet. When you use HTTPS, the information that's sent back and forth is encrypted, and it's only decrypted once you receive it on your end, and when the server receives requests on their end. Anybody who happens to be spying on that traffic in the middle will only see encrypted information, and basically they won't be able to determine what inf information is being sent back and forth. With plain old HTTP, information that's sent to the server, such as a username and password, is basically sent in plain text. So if someone happens to be spying on that traffic, it's incredibly easy for them to steal usernames and passwords and log into that site as another user. To use HTTPS on your website, you need an SSL certificate, which you can get from a certificate authority. And once you have that, you need to install it on your website. Typically, you do this at your web host. So if you're using a host, such as in Motion Hosting, usually in cPanel, what you'll do is scroll down and look for a security section or something similar. And you'll see an option called SSL TLS. You, you can go there and you can install and manage SSL for your site. You can even generate your own certificates. Usually these are of limited use because although you can generate a certificate on your own that will encrypt traffic, these aren't often trusted by browsers because they don't really have a good way of verifying that you are who you say you are in the first place. Notice that specifically with InMotion, in our account management panel, we also have the option to purchase an SSL cert certificate directly from the hosting provider. And they also have helpful options for requesting third-party SSLs. They have ways to help you with that. So whether you're with a web host that offers the ability to just purchase a certificate through them, or if you go to a third party and purchase a certificate and then you're gonna use it there, you're gonna need to install that using cPanel, or if your web host doesn't use cPanel, using some other means. And this is gonna vary widely from web host to web host. So you'll need to talk with them about how exactly to get that working on your site. But again, in most cases with cPanel, it's a matter of going to this screen once you've purchased your certificate and then installing it. Now, realistically speaking, I understand that not everyone is gonna go out and activate HTTPS on your site. Even though you should, I will admit I've been guilty of this as well. I've had websites that don't use HTTPS. So a quick note here about situations where you're not using HTTPS. I realize that realistically not everyone is going to go and set up HTTPS for the website, even though you should. But if you don't have HTTPS on your site, the one crucial thing to remember is that you should Never, ever, ever log in as an administrative user in some sort of publicly accessible Wi-Fi or publicly accessible network. Basically, any place where other people are using the internet connection, and it's people that you don't know or that you don't necessarily trust. So this would be places like a hotel internet connection, or a coffee shop's internet connection, or maybe in-flight Wi-Fi. If you're using any sort of network like that, and you don't have HTTPS on your site, it's very easy for people to spy on your traffic and see what kind of information you're sending back and forth. So if you log in under some administrative role to your Drupal site in a location like this, 
they can easily steal that information and log into your site and do bad things. So be aware of HTTPS, what it is, what its benefits are, and if at all possible, go ahead and grab an SSL certificate from a certificate authority and install that on your site so that it's safe for you to log in and for your users to log in without their information being stolen.